Welcome back to the channel. It's been a while. Um, this uh, video is going to be a little less motorcycle stuff and a little more just about a house stuff. Um, that's why there hasn't been any uh, video updates lately. Uh, I've been super busy trying to move out of the old shop storage unit setup that I had limited time to get out of. And then at the same time moving out of there, trying to get this garage here set up and insulated and painted and ready to bring stuff over so it wasn't just like mass chaos. Uh, I did bring over first trailer load of stuff, was uh, some benches I pre-made to move into the garage, so I had something to work off while I was here working on the garage. But yeah, so I bought a house. Got an acre and a half. So we'll go this way a little bit around the trailer. But you can see like all this woods behind me here all up through there's my mound system all around the back side of the garage my scrap wood pile but yeah it's an acre and a half and i didn't have to fight an indian to get it i said what i said anyway um yeah i'll take you and show you how i got the garage set up now i didn't film a lot of stuff just because like i said it was just massive time crunch like i was basically going to work getting off of work and then cramming until 10 11 o'clock at night on house stuff and the house itself still isn't quite set for me to move into yet uh, i've been painting a few rooms uh getting furniture and setting up stuff like that but uh i could stay here if i wanted to but it's just kind of bare bones and it's easier to get everything painted and organized with it being sort of empty right now uh living room's coming around because while i'm over here monkeying around with stuff i could actually go in the house take a crap and sit down and watch a movie if i want but uh yeah so there's the property. Maybe we'll take a tour, maybe not. But uh, I'll show you how I got the garage set up now. So we're inside the garage now. It's a, it's a two and a half car, but it's really not, you know, it's not so much two and a half wide as much as it's pretty deep. So like the combination of it being sort of wide and sort of deep, they call it a two and a half car. But really I could only get two cars in here if I tried, but there would still be room at the end. But this is how I got everything set up. So you come in the door there. I got my bench, my tools. Everything's kind of starting to get organized and things getting hung up. Got the bike on the lift ready to go. And actually this bike and that bike. I got plenty to do and I'm ready to start doing it as soon as I'm done getting stuff sort of like uh, winterized for winter. There was a bunch of stuff on the house I had to tend to. Uh, I just got this lawnmower running. So... It's about 32 degrees out today, and I'm going to go mulch leaves and mow the yard because when I first closed on the house, it was pretty nice out, and leaves were still falling. And now the yard is packed full, and it looks like hell. So I got a day off of work, and I'm going to go mulch some leaves and listen to the radio. But, yeah, the bike, my bike and that bike, Michelle's bike, are, uh, are ready to go for some project stuff. So those videos will be coming soon. I just got to get caught up on, you know, getting house stuff ready for winter because as soon as the uh, cold and the snow set in, I won't be able to get stuff done outside. So all that stuff's getting tended to. But I finally got my benches I always wanted. So I got six-footer here and a six-footer there. And then this is all motor stuff, motor stuff. I finally can organize everything. All my machinist tools, I went and bought some pegboard Put up a couple little shelves, the elephants, there's a story, don't worry about that. Uh, a little shelf up there with some stuff that's just out of the way for now. More pegboard I got to organize. Sweet ass aerosol cabinet that came from a widow of a at-home shop mechanic or at-home auto mechanic guy. And it's a three-piece setup. So it's got, you know, the bottom, the middle, and the top. It all bolts together and then it's anchored to the wall. Uh, I just ran that outlet too, by the way. But I've always wanted an aerosol cabinet to have everything organized. So I'm still kind of restocking everything I've used at the last mad dash of getting motorcycle projects done. But finally got an aerosol cabinet and some random hardware. But, you know, it's just stuff that normally would have been sitting all around on the bottom of the benches where I had no room to put motor stuff. So now I can keep things organized. And everything came with a lock. Everything works freaking perfect. And I, uh, I gave her 50 bucks. She was just going to let me take the stuff, but 
I figured I'd give her something for the for the effort of letting me come and pick over. But I finally got area for just drill presses, drill presses, grinders, belt sanders, uh, the mini mill there. But this is the heater I've been using. It's a little propane heater like you'd see at like a restaurant these days with the outdoor seating going on. This sucker, holy crap. So I got the garage is all insulated now. But I can let this thing run. It was 27 degrees out when I got here today, and it was 40 degrees in the garage. So it's not, you know, heated 24-7. But when I got in here, I had it run for 10 minutes. I had it up to 55 degrees in here, and I shut it off finally because it's 70 in here, and I'm hot as hell. So those suckers, if you see, you know, you got a little garage space you need to heat up and work, work in, totally worth the investment. This was a, this was a birthday gift, and something I wanted and holy crap, probably the best thing I could have had. And then as you can see, I got the bikes in here. I still got to reorganize some stuff. Um, the ZX-9 and the uh, DRZ are going to get moved over that way more. Snowblower is going to kind of stay up towards the door so I can get to it. That's the only thing that's going to stay in here kind of uh, over the winter. Then the lawnmower, once I'm done ripping around on that today, that's going to go in the motorcycle trailer sitting out there. And then that's where I'll start for the winter until I can get a garden shed built next year. So I'll have space over there. And bonus is that because the garage is as deep as it is, that if I decide to just move these bikes over a little bit or move them up into this area here where nothing is sitting, it's long enough that I can fit my truck in here and still not hit that cabinet. I can walk between the bumper and that cabinet. And all this stuff over here is all two feet deep because... From the door jam for the garage door from the door opening to the wall is two feet so everything is flush with that door opening minus the ramps that are sitting there but anyway yeah quick little shop tour but now i am going to go do some yard work and uh if you want i'll, I'll take you along for a little ride on the lawnmower with me we'll see how it goes but so that bike is actually ready to fire up on meth and I didn't fire it up at the storage unit because I just ran out of time uh it turned into time to close on the house and start moving stuff out of the garage and I didn't quite want to just start tinkering with that while my mind was on other stuff and it's just kind of a mad dash but I did move it in here that's on the lift fuel tank in the arm is empty and peek down there that little white drum right there that's the can of meth so I'm ready to Fire it up basically. So, uh, yeah, that'll be probably coming up next, but let's go have some lunch.